Hey there friends, what's going on? It's Kodiak here, back for another Assassin's Creed Valhalla video, and today we are checking out another build, and I think this one is the best that I've come up with. This is what we're calling the Wraith build, and it combines some of the coolest things that you wouldn't expect from a build that we've talked about thus far. And as always, there are some guiding principles that I wanna talk about, because that's going to allow us to kind of base ourselves in some fundamental goals on how we approach this build. Now, the first thing I wanna talk about is the flexibility to use pieces of gear that are part of the Helix shop and not part of the Helix shop. I know you guys don't wanna spend money and I totally appreciate that. So this one does combine elements of non-Helix items and Helix items. There's a lot of flexibility to change an item or two here or there if you don't wanna spend that money, but ultimately you can build up to this if you're looking for that absolutely game-changing build once the River Raid update comes out. Now I will say guys, the second principle here is that I wanted this build to be incredibly effective for River Raids and Wrath of the Druids. Everybody knows that the dual spear meta is a big part of the game right now, and that's exactly what I wanted to tap into. We haven't done a spear build yet on the channel, and that is what we're focusing on today. The final guiding principle is that I wanted this build to be slightly untraditional. I wanted to step outside of the standard stack crit or stack attack and really give you something that is kind of all things to all people. And I think we've accomplished that because using this build is absolutely the most fun I've had in this game. Going through camps and being able to just decimate everybody, you will see it once we get to the gameplay. It is a game-changing build, and again, I'm just proud of this one. I'm excited for you guys to check it out, but without further delay, let's dive in and let's talk about the items. Now, as I mentioned, guys, this is going to combine items from within the Helix Store and from outside of the Helix Store, and we're gonna start with the Mentor set. I'm using three pieces of the Mentor build here, increases your attack after critical hits. This stacks five times, gives you a nice beefy 35 second buff, and that can extend all the way up to plus 20 attack. Now everybody knows that the Mentor set is really good, but it's how we combine it with the other set and the weapons that's really going to make this build truly special. Now the other set that we're using here is the Ein Hajar set, increases your attack after each kill. This stacks three times, gives you a nice, nice beefy 50 second buff, and can extend all the way up to plus 30 attack. Now, as you guys can see here, it's a combination of increasing your attack after crits and increasing your attack after each kill. So we're not stacking one particular thing. All we wanna do is focus on making sure that we're boosting our attack through various number of ways. Now, this is where things get really interesting. For our main hand, we're using the third spear. Increases your speed when dodging. This build is a dodge-centric build. It should have been one of our guiding principles, but we're gonna talk about it now. I am a huge believer in dodging over parrying. I think parry gameplay is just too slow. And if you really wanna make an impact, if you really wanna make a splash, you go with a dodge-centric build, you dodge an attack, you get a buff, and you can just dish out insanely fast damage. Now the third spear increases your speed when dodging. You're only gonna get a 2.5 second buff, but you are going to get a plus 10 to speed. Now this is really not a showstopper of a weapon, but in conjunction with the other pieces of gear that we're talking about, and in practice, it works very well. Now in our offhand, we're using the Arid Bier. This is a Helix item, so I'm sorry about that, but you can swap it out if you want something different. I prefer this weapon because we're increasing our speed after each hit. This stacks 10 times for two seconds and gets us up to plus 10 speed. So as you can see, the weapons are really capitalizing on speed. Like I said, we're not focusing on one thing in particular, we're combining a bunch of different elements to give us a really well-rounded build, and that's exactly what you'll see. Now, of course, just to point out, you don't need to be using this weapon or attacking with this weapon to get that increase to speed after each hit. You can do that with your main hand just fine. So you don't even need to use the Arid Behar if you don't want to, but you are still getting that effect. Now, the final piece of gear here is the Spartan Bow. Temporarily increases your crit chance after a dodge. Again tapping into that dodge theme, and of course you're getting a plus 30 to crit chance for 2.5 seconds after you dodge. Again, it's a dodge-centric build. We're getting multiple things just by dodging any enemy attack, but just wait guys, it gets even better, I promise you. Now when it comes to runes, there's a lot of flexibility here, but I'm gonna show you what I think is the best setup for this build. For the third spear, I have the Chained Fury rune, which increases my attack after each hit. Again, boosting that attack is always going to be a good thing, there's a lot of pieces that enhance our attack already, so we're just compounding that with a diamond rune here. 
Now we're also going to use lesser runes that increase fire damage and fire buildup. This is going to be a fire build, not in the sense of what you guys were probably thinking. A lot of you were saying, oh, we need a fire build. We gotta have a fire build. This is a fire build, but it's completely different than I think anything you guys have ever seen. Now on the Arid Bier, we have the Chain Deft Rune increases your crit chance after each hit. Again, don't have to be using the Arid Bier to get that effect, but you are gonna get more crit chance because you're hitting enemies, and that's just fantastic. Again, we've got Fire Buildup Runes on here, and I promise we're gonna get there. We're gonna talk about that. Now the truth is this set is not really designed around defense and sustainability. So in the other pieces of gear, the armor, you're gonna wanna increase your armor, increase your health, increase your evasion. And on the pieces that have diamond runes, so for me, it's the mentor's robes here, I'm increasing my speed when surrounded by more than two enemies. I think that's a really important rune. That's a diamond brigandine rune. And what that's going to do is, again, increase our speed. Both of our weapons tap into speed. So we're gonna use this diamond rune slot to also augment our speed when we're surrounded by more than two enemies, which is, of course, going to be a big sticking point during the river raids and anytime you're sieging a castle or raiding a town. The final rune I wanna talk about here is the critical spark rune on the Spartan bow. This gives us the chance to ignite our weapon after critical hits. And as you guys know, we just talked about all of the items that were increasing our crit chance. This rune is going to be an integral part of this build. The more crit we have, the more chances we have to ignite our weapon outside of the time when we're using the fire strike ability. So this is going to ensure that our weapon is always on fire and that is very important. And as you guys are gonna see, having your weapon on fire is an absolute godsend in this build. In terms of abilities, this build is completely designed around Fire Strike. We're gonna be attacking so fast, doing so many crits, there is nothing more potent than Fire Strike. Like I said, this is a fire-based build, whether you believe it or not, and you have to see the gameplay to really understand the magic. Now, the rest of the abilities here, you can really use whatever you want. I use Throwing Axe Fury, I like Harpoon Impalement, and of course, Dive of the Valkyries. Now, I will admit this is not a ranged build by any stretch of the imagination. You can use whatever you want. As always, I recommend Mark of Death, Focus of the Nornir. In this case, I'm using Incendiary Powder Trap and Man's Best Friend, an unlikely choice, but I know a lot of people like that one. Now, in practice, guys, this build absolutely slaps. And I have to tell you, I am very proud of this one because again, it combines items inside and outside of the Helix store. I think it's a very doable build for a lot of players, especially if you're doing your Opal missions. And it is absolutely game changing. The speed at which you can attack enemies, ignite them on fire is really the key here. Because you're increasing your attack and your speed, you're able to do a lot of damage and build up that fire damage incredibly quickly on lesser enemies, on major enemies, and I cannot wait to test this out on bosses in the Wrath of the Druid DLC because I think this may be the best build in the game. Now, everybody knows that Dual Spears is a game-changing build in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, but once you light them on fire and once you enhance your speed, you will be cutting through enemies so fast you will wonder how you lived so long without this build. Now, what I like so much about this build is how much fluidity it has on the battlefield. You're able to move from enemy to enemy. You've got single target damage, you've got AOE damage, and that fire strike ability is just the coup de grace that makes this Wraith build so potent. Honestly, guys, most of you probably have this gear or most of the gear. I would highly recommend you go test it out for yourselves because until you actually build this kit out yourself, you will not believe it works. Now, everybody knows about the Mentor and the Thane set. I think this is twice, if not three times better than that set, and it may be the best set in the game. I would put this set up against any other set that we've come up with, all the comments that I see on all the other builds that you guys have. I would say this is right up there as an S tier build. And the thing is, this build is just simple, straightforward, and in conjunction with Fire Strike, the synergy is just off the charts. So if you guys are looking for a new build and you wanna check out something that is absolutely game-changing, I would highly recommend the Wraith build. Now, if you guys do have any questions about this or if you wanna suggest something, leave it in the comment section below. You guys have been messaging me on Discord. You've left some really great comments about how to make these builds better and I really do appreciate that. So we're gonna keep doing these. We're gonna keep making new builds and hopefully as new items get introduced into the game, we'll be able to test out some new and different builds. As always guys, if you like these types of videos, please do consider hitting the thumbs up button and of course subscribing to the channel. We cannot thank you guys enough for all the support on our Assassin's Creed Valhalla videos and with new content right around the corner, you better believe we are here to cover it all. As always friends, my name is Kodiak and from everyone here at Legacy Gaming, thanks for watching and play on.